Ukrainian army lost 31 armored vehicles for a village. Recently, Ukraine declared the liberation of the 11th settlement since the counteroffensive began more than 10 weeks ago. But the regained freedom comes at a high price. According to Build Media Outlet, in the battles for one settlement, the armed forces of Ukraine lost 31 pieces of equipment, including 23 NATO armored personnel carriers. New Russian drone footage shows Ukraine lost at least 31 armored vehicles, including 23 NATO-sponsored mine-protecting personnel carriers during the Battle of Staromyosk. The wrecks of these vehicles still remain on the battlefield, in addition to other damaged armored vehicles that have since been recovered. This represents a success for Russia. Although Ukraine's current superiority allows it to advance village by village, Moscow's strategy is to destroy as many Western armored vehicles and Liberator's armored vehicles as possible. Build rights. If Ukraine loses 10 to 30 armored personnel carriers per population center and no new ones arrive in the armed forces, the offensive will stop before reaching large cities. It is noted that the Russian army knows that Ukraine is struggling to replace and repair the vehicles, much more so than Russia. For example, according to BUILD information, the Ukrainian army has lost 9 of the 18 Leopard 2A6 high-tech tanks delivered from Germany since the counter-offensive began. Although many of the damaged tanks are repairable, this is proving difficult as the repair locations are around 1,000 kilometers to the west and some damaged German tanks are still stuck under enemy fire in the Zaporizhia region. In addition, despite the pledge of about 100 modern Western main battle tanks, Leopard 2, Challenger and Abrams, in January 2023, neither Germany nor Great Britain nor the USA have followed up on their tank deliveries. In contrast, the Russian army brings between 20 and 50 new or upgraded main battle tanks to Ukraine every month. The logic behind this is simple. If Ukraine loses between 10 and 30 Western armored vehicles per village, while hardly any new ones are being delivered, its offensive will stall before it reaches strategically important cities such as Tokmak, Polohi, Melitopol, Volnovaka or Mariupol.